Viewers, you might be wondering, what's wrong with this woman in the bush? What is she doing? <laughs> I'm saving money. With this economy of Uganda, you need to use your head to save. So, before I forget my name, I'm Paul Dagnes. We welcome you to today's video that is how to survive in Africa. So I'm here with my colleague trying to get our local broom. So out of this one, you can make a broom and you save money. So you can also try it outside there. If you find any grass like this one, you know that one is a broom. So my colleague, yes. what is your take? Uh, hello our viewers, today as usual creative women, we have decided to have this session of how to survive in Africa by getting local brooms, so we are trying to get local brooms, we do one and these women they are in the bush, so here for sure has the way my colleagues say that we are trying to save money. I can pick my own brooms, I dry them, and then I get a good broom for sweeping. These brooms, they really sweep well. Uh, I will not forget to tell you my name, I'm called Ruth, as usual. So we shall take you through the session mm. of drying them, and how we get a good broom out of them. From here we are going to make it look good by removing these parts when it's dry when it's dry yeah nigerians so say you have said it all yeah <laughs> so our viewers this is not only the type of broom we have in africa mm. we have different types of brooms so this one is it's a bit heavier and hard but there is another one which doesn't grow so much like this one for it, it will be thin. So we shall show you next time uh, when we are making the broom out of the other type. So for sure in Africa, we are really happy that God bless our land. We have variety of things. So we though we have, have this options. one, but we have our other things. Mm. Then this one only works in the houses. Mm. Yeah, it is called a soft broom. It works only in the houses. So. For outside, you'll be wondering which broom do they use outside. We shall show you also one time in our sessions how we get that broom and how does it look like. So we shall show you our viewers. You know we love you so much and we are here ready to cook a lot of things for you. And you'll be there just ready to learn. And at least also teach others, teach your friends, teach your children this kind of work. Yes, very true. By the way, Agi, yeah. you find in Africa some parents have not taught their children to do this kind of work and have left it for grandparents, of which even married women who of our age, they feel ashamed to enter bushes to pick this kind of brooms. Oh, they see me in the bush. How they see them in the bush? Yeah, with all the makeup I'm having, I'm spoiling it in the bush. So here is not all about spoiling makeup. As a housewife, you need to learn how to save in your house. Yeah. Something you can get freely out of God's creation. Please get it. Mm. So this is it. Our broom is now ready for drying. As the way you see it, so it's dry very well. We remove them and uh, then we chop them. Then we tie them. So. As uh, yes, this one can take like, um, it depends on the weather, if it's mm -hmm. very hot, it will take like two days only to dry for it. Unless it's not so hot, it can take maybe more than two days, that is three days, mm -hmm. to be just dry. So, in Africa, brooms are believed to be the friends to the wives. Mm -hmm. If you're married, you're supposed to have a broom in your house. Yes. And you're supposed to make sure you have it. There are certain cultures when you're going to get married, they make sure among the things you're carrying from your home, where you're, you're, you were born from, to your marital home, you go with a broom. Mm. Ever our mothers, they used to give 
the brooms as a gift to their daughters as a sign of them keeping their homes it's clean. clean yeah, so sure. the broom is believed to be the friends to the wives of the home. So okay. it's a must we are supposed to have this one in the home. So if you find a home which doesn't have this one and the wife is there, you'll be thinking that maybe the woman was not brought up well and maybe she doesn't know about it. So if you are out there and you don't know about this one that is very important for you as a wife of the home to have it, please get it from us. We are here to teach you, we are here to guide you, uh, we teach you how Africans we do our things, how long time people used to have their homes. So in how to survive in Africa today for sure we have this one. So our viewers, this is it, our broom now is ready. After two days it is really dry very well. As I told in Africa our climate is really hot. So our broom is dry. So this is the way it looks like. We have removed the unwanted grasses, the, all the leaves, uh, like these ones. Mm. We remove some of them and even we are finished to, to cut it. To never eat. Mm. So when you're cutting it, you be so careful that you're supposed to never eat to look really neat mm. and of the same level, the way you see it. As you see, my colleague is doing that. That is the art of organizing the broom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the art. Every woman needs to be organized. Yeah. Everything that you do should mean it. Mm. Here we are. So, our broom wow. is really ready, the way you see it. Our so viewers, what is your to say? It. What is your say about this broom? Have I not saved? Have we not saved? Yeah. You can also save. By and in our place, mm. this one can cost 2K, 2,000. Uganda shillings. Yeah. So you'd have saved 2,000. Mm. You don't sweat. This one, you just so, enjoy picking them. I'm telling you, I've enjoyed. Yeah. Mm. You keep your home clean. So wherever visitors come to visit you, they will find your home neat because of this. Our viewers, thank you so much mm. for watching. We have a lot in how to survive in Africa. Uh, since we showed you about uh, the brooms, thank you for following us since we started. How we got them in the garden. Remember you saw the other time when we showed you how we pick them from the garden so uh, around the roadside. Because this broom grows anywhere. Mm. Uh, so long as the land is just there, they grow anywhere. You can get them in the gardens, you can get them alongside the roads. Mm. So this is a beautiful thing we have got. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, we still beg you to subscribe to our channel. Like and give your comments. Please even share to your friends and we be creative. We are tired of this issue whereby people say, the white say, ah, uh, Africans, we are poor. We are not poor. We are creative in nature. So yeah. guys, we beg you to subscribe to our channel, like and give your comment. Thank you so much. Thank you.